Please turn to the hammer. And today we're back with another track guide. Sorry guys, I haven't um, uploaded a track guide in a while. But now it's the Italy track guide. I've picked um, a different car as well. It's gonna be Gasly's Alfa Tori because he won the race. It was a it was a really good race as well. Absolutely loved it. One of the best races of the season because most of all the season's been um, pretty boring. So let's get into the game. And if you watch my previous videos, um, you know what I do. Track guide, show you all the corners, things to avoid, and then set up at the end. And if you are new to this channel, please consider subscribing, like, turn on the notifications. So every time I upload a video, you'll get it on your phone, tablet, or whatever. Whatever device you have. So let's get into this. So we're going to come onto the main straight now. Main straight now. DRS active. Sorry guys about that. The DRS active. Coming onto the main straight now. Break it back on the 100, and 100 metre board. Turn aggressively, do not to, um, hit those sausage curves. You will lose you a lot of time, really crucial. Go flat out for the rear, keep the wheel nice and smooth. Again, break it the 100 metre board. Turn aggressively, do not hit the sausage curves. Smooth throughout there. And if you do go wide as an escape route on that corner, the turn aggressively on here as well. You're allowed to hit the green, so hit the green. Works out best for me when I'm on my races. Catch, catch me with people just like that. So zero active, straight. Do not go over the green on here because you will get your lap of time invalidated when you're on the qualifying lap. And the guy has like strict rules, so be mindful of that. 200 on miles per hour. Break it 50 meter board smoothly, tuck it in, tuck it into the apex. Okay, main straight. And that was a 1.22.9. So, this is a hot lap, so it won't be my best time in the first lap, but if I would have carried on, I would have done best lap. But anyway, now onto the things to avoid. So when coming into this corner here, break it the 100 metre board, break it the, about the 100 metre board, turn to the apex here, do not hit this kerb, it will lose you a lot of time, and if you go wide, um, see that skate road on the left, and here, if you do lock up, go through here, and you will be back out safely, mindful for any accidents or crashes. Okay guys, second thing to avoid. So I'm coming to this corner, I break it on the meter board. Be kiss that apex there, but do not go over this curve because you will go over these sausage curves and lose you a lot of time. And say let me reverse now. So when it, if you lock up on this corner lock up, go through the escape route here because it is an escape route where you can come up back out safely and there you go be, be mindful again, like I said the last thing to avoid um, be mindful for any accidents or crashes so on to the last thing to avoid ok, last thing to avoid now so come into this corner break it 100 metre board do not break it 50, impossible when coming to this corner, this is a lap time analysis, lap time, things to avoid, whatever. So when coming into this corner, do not go over these, because it will lose you a lot of time. And say if the guy has strict rules on, your, your time will get invalidated. Same with this one. Do not go over here as well, over the grass. Time invalidated, and same with this one. Now, as you all guys have been waiting for, onto the setup now. 
Okay, guys, I'm to set up now. Fuel is default for hot laps if you want to change it during online races, ranked online races, F1 Esports. Uh, you can change the fuel load to make your car lighter and go faster. So, onto aerodynamics, one seven. If you do fancy a little bit more grip, recommend it putting on two or three. If you want to go aero, four, but I really recommend just put it less than three. Two or one, two or ones, but I pick one because this track is all about straight line speed. Um, if you do corners, no point. You're just going to get passed on the straight like nothing. Transmission now. Really important. Like I said in my last six videos on my track guide series. F1 2020. If you have your differential adjustment on throttle or off throttle. All the way to lot. It will be hard to um, go around them corners. and Little tight corners. And you just go wide onto the grass. And your car will come on driving behind the corners. So, different draw adjustment on throttle, 55, same for off throttle. Suspension, geometry. Front camber, 2.60. Rear camber, 2.00. Front toe, 0 0.05. Rear toe, 0 0.20. Suspension now, front suspension, 2. Rear suspension, 7. If you stiff the springs, like the suspension springs, yeah, it will stop the car from lunging forward. So it will like, it won't you car like turn around the corners. Like it won't let you do aggressive corners. You have to do it safer, which I don't like. So if you're a safe driver, hurry them up a little bit, about three or four. Keep it more than two, like three. If you're a safe driver, well, I like being more aggressive. So I'll go for one seven, two seven. But I went for 1.7 because obviously I prefer it. Uh, front anti-roll bars, 3. Rear anti-roll bars, 6. If you increase your anti-roll bars, it will increase the stiffness of the car and make it impossible to drive. If you like make it more softer, you'll make it... Like when you go around the corners, you'll get good exits and loads of grip. Front ride height, 2. Rear ride height, 4. Really important as well because you have your... You have your ride height all the way low, your floor will create your floor will scrape across the ground, then it won't be good for your car or just make it um damage or damage it. Brakes now, brake pressure 98 percent front brake bias 52%. If you're more of a safe option driver, go for 55 or 56, just keep it below 54. Keep it below 53 because they're the aggressive presets. So I'll, I'll, I just went for 51 because, of course, I'm an aggressive driver. Tires now, front right tire pressure 22.2, same for the front left. Rear right tire pressure 23.1, same for the rear left. So, guys, that is the end of my track guide video. Hope you enjoyed it. Sorry that I didn't upload in ages because I had a really bad cold. And things are going well now, feeling better, feeling pumped. So don't forget to subscribe, like, turn on post notifications, and feel free to comment on this video. Bad comments, good comments. I'll try and reply to them all. So see you later, guys. Toast Hammer. Bye. And one thing to tell you if you don't go check out my. Um, Cruising around the 24 hours of Le Mans video. So go check out that. So, toes the hammer. Bye, guys. So, wait, guys, because I'm having problems. And here we go. Bye.